Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to add multiple camera outputs so that we can get this effect here going where we have different effects going on each camera. So as always let's start a new project. You should always save your projects if you're working on them. So right now we only have one camera but that's going to change pretty quickly. What we're going to do first is we're going to add a post effect to this camera. Let's go with Purple Hills. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a new layer to this. We're going to call this Purple Hills. And let's take it off the default layer here. Make sure that we have our post effect set to that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. And then we're going to just name this camera Purple Hills. And this is going to help us when we're kind of organizing everything. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to choose a new post effect. And let's go with Faded. But we're going to add a new layer here. Let's call that one Faded. Let's change this camera layer to that as well. And we're just going to do this two more times here. Alright, so we have all four of our cameras here. And the next step is going to be adding a new billboard. So now we have a 2D sprite line to this camera. Let's call this one Purple Hills. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this camera output which is taking the Purple Hills. So we're going to label that here. And then what we're going to do as well is we're going to duplicate this. We're going to call this one Faded. And I think you're kind of catching on what we're doing here. We're going to change that camera to Faded so that it's taking this output going to duplicate that. Let's call this one Spectrum. And then select that camera. And then one more. Night. Okay, so now we have all our outputs. Let's add these to the sprites. So, Purple Hills will be right here. So then all we're going to do is we're going to scale this down to 0.5. 5 by 0.5 and then we're going to put that right up here at the top corner and we can also align it at the top corner and then we're just going to duplicate that let's call this one faded add that camera output oops not the actual post effect the output <laughs> Move that over here change that alignment do that two more times Alright, so now we have all our post effects. Uh, if you wanted, what you could do also is add more effects to each of these. Let's say we wanted to maybe give them a face retouch. All we're going to do is just add a new face retouch in there. And what's going to happen is it's probably going to add it to this first one. So what we could do is, if we want to add them all, we can just do that. Just make sure you change that layer and have it under the correct one. If we, we just duplicate that, drag it in here, and then change that layer and it would be good to go. So that is how you have multiple camera outputs and multiple effects on your lenses. I hope you learned a little bit here. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd love to help you out. And feel free to share your creations too. I would love to see what you come up with. Have a good night, everyone.